process of getting here, we were from Vancouver, so we had to go to Toronto and then down to Cuba. It was about five hours and then three hours. Yeah, I'm really excited for this week. We're here for like seven days. We're gonna be exploring Havana. I'm showing you guys what it's like. Our taxi just pulled up, our driver, so let's go. Start the trip. Cool. <laughs> guys so it is bright and early we actually woke up for sunrise which when I'm on a trip I usually try and wake up for like one or two sunrises because the lighting is so nice so we're actually headed next door from our hotel to a really famous hotel called the Kapinski and it has this stunning rooftop pool that actually looks so beautiful um, so I'm going to show you guys that and I have also partnered with Neutrogena for this video to show you guys some of the products that I actually brought with me on this trip so if I, when I travel, my skin gets really dry. So they have a new body hydro boost line that helps hydrate your skin. It has hyaluronic acid in it. I'm gonna show you guys a bit more once we go up to the pool. So guys, here's the rooftop pool in the hotel. If this is in goals, I don't know what it is. So we're currently on the rooftop of the Kapinski Hotel and it's sunrise right now absolutely stunning. Also, if you're coming to Cuba and are looking for a really nice hotel to stay at, but we're just going to finish doing some stuff here and then we're going to head out for breakfast and go continue on our day on all the activities we have planned. sunrise up here and I want to quickly show you guys the products that I brought with me on this trip and ones that I actually used right before shooting this because my skin like I said gets quite dry when I travel and this stuff is honestly amazing so this is their new hydro boost line and they did a great job they actually brought advanced facial care hydration to the body by using the hyaluronic acid and basically what that does is it holds like a thousand times its weight in water and this stuff feels so silky smooth when you put it on so I have the body gel cream this one is actually fragrance free um, for dry and sensitive skin so it's nice if you have sensitive skin skin you don't have to worry um, and then we also have the hydro boost whipped body balm and the hand gel cream and this is actually what I brought on the plane with me so if any of my Canadian friends are out there and are going to be traveling um, or you're just at home and the weather is starting to get kind of dry and you want to try out a free sample for yourself all you have to do is click the link below because they're giving away a bunch of free samples and so you guys can test it out and see if you like it but we just finished shooting so I think we're gonna go get some much needed coffee and some breakfast and we actually have a full day of things planned okay so we've just come outside um, we just finished shooting at the hotel we're we're currently in like a main kind of square area of Havana and as we we're walking I was feeling my skin and it really does feel like so silky and smooth and I'm just like I feel so hydrated so <laughs> true testament to how this stuff really works um, because I my skin just feels awesome um, but anyways we're currently outside the Grand Theater and also the Capitol building which is quite a popular thing to go and do in Havana. I'm gonna be doing a top 10 video as well of the top 10 things to do here. Uh, we're gonna go walk over to the Capitol building and see that the structure is quite grand and go from there. We haven't gotten our coffee yet, but the lighting's so nice that I feel like it's like a nice time to go to the Capitol building, so we're gonna do that. So we've arrived at the Capitol building, which is right in the center of Havana. It's actually one of the most visited sites here in the city. And even though it does kind of look like the Washington building in DC, it was actually modeled off the Pantheon in Paris. <laughs> So we've arrived finally at our first destination, built or finished actually in like the 1700s, 
which is pretty crazy. It's super grand and beautiful. Um, I don't know if we can go inside. It doesn't look like it's open. I wonder if maybe tomorrow, because it's Sunday, um, and it's actually like a Catholic church. Actually right by the cathedral, there's this bar right here, which was on a recommended list. So we've arrived at another famous bar here in Havana, and it's really cool because some of the really famous bars, they actually have photos of all the celebrities that have been here. Um, so they have a big wall out there that everyone famous has come to this bar. And we got ourselves a mojito. So this was fun. So really, quite a deal. And no, I don't like this. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it again. No, let it so. We got a few mojitos now in Cuba. Definitely like the drink of choice here. <laughs> Raining, so we actually decided to come upstairs when I was actually looking at the spots to eat then and this place came up and then I recognized it when I went back to the washroom because we were at the front bar and I was like oh this is the spot and there's writing as you can see like all over the wall which is super cool so our mail has arrived it was just kind of an assortment of random in this we have the croquettes we got bread and butter <laughs> rice and some olives you guys the band's coming together Fun fact, Rihanna has been here. <laughs> Funny, there's actually a sign outside now that says no red on the wall, but YOLO. Guys, there's so many dogs here. Hey, oh, he has a name and an identification photo of him also wearing the name tag. That is amazing. Guys, there's more of them. The best plaza ever. Hi, guys. I all have names. Hi, you all have names. Hi. Where are you going? What's your name? Oh, wow. Oh, big sneeze, okay. So we're currently in the famous plaza that was actually built when the city was built, so in the 1500s. And so we went back to the hotel for a bit, just regrouped, and we're actually headed out right now to a Fabrica de Oz. It's kind of cool, so we're in like a taxi right now, but like an old school taxi to get there. So Fabrica de Arte is probably one of the coolest places I've ever been. And basically it's an old factory that's been converted into this really cool nightlife spot that has a whole bunch of bars and each room has a different kind of theme to it. There's some restaurants in there, they have live music, some rooms have dance classes. One room even had a full-blown symphony orchestra, which is just mind-blowing to think about. I think what's super cool too is how many people actually love this place. So it was actually on Time Magazine's Greatest Places of 2019 and it has had so many faces come through including Michelle Obama and Lady Gaga just to name a few. So I'm going to end off this vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Of course, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!